Have you ever wondered what chromosomes are and why they are important? Let's dive into this fascinating world of genetics. At the heart of every cell within the nucleus, DNA is neatly wrapped into thread-like structures known as chromosomes. Imagine this as a spool where DNA is the thread, coiled tightly around proteins called histones, much like the spindle of the spool. This intricate system was first articulated by a scientist named Strasberger in the year 1815. The term chromosome, however, didn't come into existence until 1888, thanks to Waldeyer. These rod-shaped, dark-stained bodies come to light during the metaphase stage of mitosis under the scrutiny of a light microscope. But why are they so crucial? Well, chromosomes hold the reins to heredity, mutation and variation. They are the driving forces behind the evolutionary development of species. So, in essence, chromosomes are essential for heredity, mutation, variation and the evolutionary development of species. So, what exactly do chromosomes look like and what are they made of? Well, let's dive in. At its core, each chromosome is essentially a DNA molecule tightly coiled around proteins that bolster its structure. These proteins, crucial to the formation of eukaryotic chromosomes, fall into two classes, histones and non-histone chromosomal proteins. Let's start with histones. These proteins are like the scaffolding that DNA wraps around, making it possible to fit within the cell's nucleus. Histones are not just any proteins, they're highly alkaline proteins, which means they can interact closely with the DNA's negatively charged phosphate groups. This interaction enables the DNA to coil around histones and tightly pack into a small space. Now, onto the non-histone chromosomal proteins. They're a diverse group of proteins that carry out a variety of roles, from regulating gene expression to maintaining the structure of the chromosome. Unlike histones, these proteins do not aid in packaging the DNA, but rather play a part in the functional aspects of the chromosomes. The tightly wound DNA and these two classes of proteins together form chromatin, a complex that is fundamental to the structure of chromosomes. Chromatin isn't just a random mess of DNA and proteins, it's a highly organized and structured entity, allowing for efficient packing of DNA and its associated proteins within the nucleus. And that's not all. Chromatin also plays a critical role in gene regulation. By controlling the accessibility of the DNA to the transcription machinery, it essentially decides which genes are turned on and which ones are turned off. This makes chromatin a key player in the control of gene expression and, by extension, the cell's function. So, to sum it up, chromosomes are not just strands of DNA. They're composed of DNA and proteins, specifically histones and non-histone chromosomal proteins. Together, they form the chromatin, a highly compacted structure which is essential to fit DNA into the nucleus. This intricate structure is not just about packing DNA efficiently. It also plays a pivotal role in gene regulation, making it a cornerstone of cellular function and life as we know it. Chromatin, a highly compacted structure, is essential to fit DNA into the nucleus. But how does DNA assemble into chromatin? Let's delve into this fascinating process. To begin with, DNA doesn't just dive into becoming chromatin, it's a series of orchestrated steps that result in the formation of this highly compact structure. The first step is the creation of the basic building block of chromatin, the nucleosome. So what is a nucleosome? Picture a spool of thread where the spool is made up of a collection of proteins called histones and the thread is the DNA. This spool of proteins, or the histone octoma core as it's technically known, is assembled from four different types of histones, H2A, H2B, H3 and H4. These can be thought of as the pillars that give the spool its structure. Now imagine the DNA wrapping around this spool. This is exactly what happens in the formation of a nucleosome. A segment of DNA winds itself around the histone core in a precise, and controlled manner. This DNA histone complex forms the basic unit of chromatin, the nucleosome. But what about the DNA that doesn't wrap around the histones? Well, that's where linker DNA comes into play. 
Linker DNA is the segment of DNA that connects one nucleosome to the next, sort of like a bridge. It helps in maintaining the structure of the chromatin and assists in the efficient packaging of DNA within the nucleus. So you see, the assembly of DNA into chromatin is not just about stuffing DNA into a confined space. It's a process involving a series of intricate steps, each contributing to the overall structure and function of chromatin. This methodical process ensures that the DNA is neatly and efficiently packaged without compromising its functionality. To summarize, the formation of the nucleosome, where a segment of DNA wraps around a histone octima core, is the first step in this assembly process. This, along with the role of linker DNA, leads to the condensation of DNA into a compact structure, an 11 nanometer fiber, to be precise. Thus, the nucleosome assembly is the first step in the condensation of DNA into an 11 nanometers fiber. Now that we understand what chromosomes are and how they form, why are they so important? This question leads us into the fascinating world of genetics and evolution. Chromosomes, these intricate packages of DNA and proteins, are vital to life as we know it. They carry our genes, the very codes that instruct the development and functioning of all living organisms. Every trait that distinguishes us from the color of our eyes to our predisposition to certain health conditions can be traced back to our genes nestled within our chromosomes. But that's not all. Chromosomes don't just passively carry our genes. They play an active role in heredity. When cells divide, chromosomes ensure that each new cell receives an accurate copy of the genetic information. This process, known as mitosis, is central to growth, development, and cellular repair. Chromosomes also play a key role in mutation. Mutations are changes in the DNA sequence, and while they can sometimes lead to diseases, they are also the driving force behind variation and evolution. It's through these changes, propagated through chromosomes, that species adapt and evolve over time. Furthermore, the study of chromosomes has a profound impact on medicine and genetics. By understanding the structure and function of chromosomes, scientists can identify genetic disorders, develop genetic therapies, and even manipulate genes for scientific research. Chromosomes also play a role in reproduction. During the process of meiosis, chromosomes are shuffled and divided to create new combinations of genes. This genetic recombination is what makes each of us unique and it's why siblings from the same parents can look and be so different. Finally, let's not forget that chromosomes are involved in the most fundamental process of life, the replication of DNA. Without chromosomes, this process would be impossible, and life as we know it could not exist. As you can see, chromosomes are not just microscopic structures in our cells. They are the blueprint of life itself.